Hi, at this point in this project, you have already learned uh, how to use some very important nodes in any node red flow. For example, uh, you're now looking at the DHE22 flow, you're familiar with it, and in it you have seen how to use the inject node, this one right here, of course, the debug node, uh, the function node, although we're doing a lot more work with it later on, and a few other nodes here uh, as well. In this and the next few lectures, I want to take you through a series of short uh, presentations and, and examples of how to use some of the other common and function nodes. There's many more, of course, as you can see down here, uh, especially those nodes that have to do with communications, uh, for example, the MQTT communications and web sockets, but I prefer to show you how to use those particular nodes in context as part of the project instead of um, in individual lectures. So let's uh, get started right away with the complete node. So you'll find the complete node uh, right here on the common. So what the complete node does is that it links to any other node in the flow and it will fire when that particular node completes processing an incoming message. So I've already set it up and the way that this works is to tell it which node you'd like it to monitor. And then as soon as that node completes its operation, then the complete node will fire and do something useful. It will pass whatever message goes into the uh, node that it is monitoring, and then you can reuse it in some other part of your flow. So here I've set my complete node to look at the test function, which is this function right here. And when this function completes operation, then the complete node will notice it and pass the message over to the completed debug node. So I'll deploy it and uh, open up the debug window, uh, configured to show us what's going on in the current flow. And I'm just going to trigger the test function. And there you can see that completed uh, debug node has produced the message that came to it via the complete node. Just notice that I've disabled the message one, two, and three debug nodes so that we can get a more clean output here. Of course, I can change the node that my complete node is monitoring. Let's make it message one, for example, and I'll have to enable message one and then deploy and trigger. And you see that in this case, message one is the node that upon completion triggered the completed uh, node and it's passing through the appropriate message payload one, which is what came out of this. Okay, let's move on to the next simple node, which is the error node. 